In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Let us now enter the practicum area. All of us desire to change ourselves, to increase in prayer, and move forward in prayer because we are all beginners in doing less than what is required. We will say some ideas or practices that everyone can take an idea or practice to help him. Choose only one because there are many ideas. The first spiritual practice. Keep the beginning and the end of the day always for the Lord. This is not a hard practice to reach the permanent prayer as we want to cover all 24 hours in the day. But we do not start from the end but from the beginning. At a minimum, we pray at the beginning of the day and at the end of the day. It is not acceptable that you leave your home without praying, and it is not acceptable that you put your head down on your pillow without praying. That's the first principle we need to agree on. And as these minutes increase little by little, so the day becomes sweeter and sweeter. And as these minutes become hotter and hotter, so the day becomes sweeter and sweeter. I'm not focused only on time, but I'm focused also on quality. Quantity of time spent praying and the kind of the prayer, the kind of prayers. Quantity and quality, because there are multiple kinds of prayers. There is prayer from just the lips, and there is a prayer that stems from the heart. We imitate our Lord Jesus in everything. It was said about him, and in the morning, rising a great while before day, he went out and departed into a solitary place and there prayed. None of us can imagine that we are busier than, than Christ was at the time of his service. No, no matter how busy we are in this century, our Lord Jesus' days were busier than ours. Thousands of people were waiting for him every day, from village to village, and there were no cars and planes, and even with all this busyness, he made sure he went out and departed into a solitary place and there prayed. And it came to pass in those days that he went out into a mountain to pray and continued all night in prayer to God. Even in the midst of the crowd, he does not fail to keep the matter of prayer and he spends all the upcoming night praying. We can't spend the whole night praying, but we can take a portion of it to pray. Because of this, St. Isaac says, the night is designated for prayer. In the mind of the pious, God created the night to pray. People sleep, we pray. This is piety. People sleep, we sleep. No. If we sleep like people, then we became like people. No, we're not like people. People sleep, we stay up and pray. So then the first practice is, be careful and take care of the beginning and end of the day. If the beginning of the day escapes without you praying, the whole day escapes. Remember this principle. If the beginning of the day is lost without praying, the whole day is lost. One of the saints said that demons are standing around your bed waiting for you while you're opening your eyes. If you say, O oh Lord, they get scared and run away. If you start working, eating, and screaming, they'll be engaged with you the whole day. Now they're your friends. The day is going to become evident from the start. If you are careful to speak with God starting from the first minutes of the day, your day will go well. In the psalm it says, At midnight I will rise to give thanks unto you, because of your righteous judgments. This means he would regret extending his sleep so he would wake up especially to thank the Lord. It is impossible that I leave you sitting next to me while I sleep. I'm going to get up and talk with you for a while. At midnight I will rise. He does not wake up for work. He wakes up especially to give thanks. Sometimes people wake up to go to the bathroom. Is it possible that you give a right to your body that instead you give your spirit its rights as far as you wake up by force? Waking up for God's sake is precious to him. Arise, O children of the light. Let us praise the Lord of hosts. We are not children of the night or children of sleep.